Hey guys, how's it going on it here and welcome to the race. It's time for the seventh round in the F1 2014 career mode season one at Toro Rosso as we are getting into the car and as you can see full wet tires are on. It is wet in this race and that was a little bit of a bummer for me. I really hope that it was uh, going to be a dry start at least. Um, yeah, in order to make up a few places anyway, here we go with the setup. In order to make up a few places in opening lap or opening laps but uh, yeah, I, I will be struggling for, for grip, especially uh, traction, where we know that the uh, AI is really, really strong at, especially with the traction control, but uh, we'll try my best, or I'll try my best at least, and uh, we'll see what we can do. 35 lap long race, should be a one stop when it's full wet, but it should dry up towards the end of the race actually, so here we go. We see uh, Red Bull there in pole position, Sebastian Vettel, wins to qualify himself in front of the Mercedes guys, so that's pretty uh, impressive. We are all the way down to 19th place though, that's a little bit unfortunate. As you have seen, we didn't have the greatest uh, qualifying. I made just a simple mistake. Went on the prime time instead of the option. Anyway, lights are already out. So here we go off the line. Uh, okay, it started. Although the AI, well, flies by me now. Down to 22nd and uh, last place actually. But here we go, the first quarter. Going to try to make up a few positions, which I've done so already. Because the AI breaks incredibly early. Try to go a little bit around the outside here. There's a little bit of a gap here. Going through there. And up to P16 at the moment, we can see our teammate there as well, up to P14. Sutil there in front, going to go on the inside here as the AI once again breaks so super early. Sutil trying to go on the outside there, a little bit of contact was even made, looked a little bit clumsy. Well, we got through the first couple of corners cleanly. Oh, look at that, lots of oversteer. Going on the outside of Sutil, on the inside of Magnussen, who is, uh, well, struggling at the moment. So our teammate there up to P12, we are up to P14 in the meantime behind Kevin Magnussen over here. Getting a face full of spray as we head down into the chicane here. Right left overtaking Magnussen there on the inside very very easily. Left a little wide open and we took it. So up to P13 not too bad with our teammate up front. But now the AI settles down into their own pace and uh, straight, away, straight away you can see that our teammate is pulling away a little bit. So we come through the hairpin for the first time and onto the long long straight here so in the end climbed a few places we'll see how we uh, how our pace is in this wet in these wet conditions usually in wet conditions our pace is not great at all but we'll see what we can do here Let's so look at our teammate there very slowly through the final chicane. We tried to go around the outside, but it just couldn't put the power down on the curb there. Very, very slippery. So our teammate does remain in first position, or uh, first position, what am I talking about? In the position ahead of us, so P12. But uh, we are putting some pressure on him, that's for sure. The air is pretty slow. We are still battling quite a bit, putting some pressure on him, but he gets the, uh, you know, he gets the upper head the whole time on the exits, of course, with the traction control. Over there, there could be worse though. A bit more over there. You can see that the uh, car just wants to uh, aqua plan uh, or aqua plan a little bit. As you can see, there more over there and even more over there. It's really, really hard for me to put the power down at the exit of that corner. It's actually at the exit of turn seven. We are done into turn eight right now. It's the right left chicane. Taking up a little bit of ground on our teammate, not too much though. I should try to keep up with my teammate right now. This is the time to stay with him and uh, get the, the DRS advantage as well. Breaking down for this hairpin once again. That went pretty well. Uh, putting the power down so, so tricky in these wet conditions here. You see Magnussen in our mirror there. He has a look on the inside, but I think he will back out of it, which he does so indeed, luckily for us. So we've gone through the chicane, a little bit of drifting pretty much in towards the corner even. So it really, really is very, very wet at the moment. Once again, putting some more pressure on our teammate. Seems to be pretty slow in the final sector. The AI in general seems pretty slow through the final sector, which is definitely helping us at the moment. Again, coming through here, third lap already, skies don't really seem to get a lot brighter at the moment, so it doesn't really look like it will get dry in any time soon. One we do second the gap to our teammate at the moment, and a second to Grosjean, so Grosjean actually uh, got past Magnussen, 
We skip now to the beginning of lap 6. The gap to our teammate up front is 3.4 seconds. We're still down in 13th place with Grosjean following us. We couldn't get past. But at the same time, the cars ahead of us managed to pull a gap. Which is not good for us, obviously. But yeah, I just couldn't do more than this. Although it does look like the skies are starting to become a little bit brighter. But look at the overseer this the whole time. So many struggles with the, the power delivery. Just so, so tricky to put the power down. As we see Grosjean on the outside here. As he backs out of it once again. Such a shame sometimes to see the AI backing out of it that easily. Not the best exits out of that can You can hear the engine revving. And uh, Grosjean being pretty close behind us. In our slipstream means starting to close down on us quite a bit. But cannot get past at the moment. So the gap still remains. But three, four tenths. And we remain in P13, but you can now slowly see that the skies are starting to clear up. There's a little bit more of a racing line starting to get visible. And uh, that is only good for us because we are struggling so, so much in these uh, wet conditions here. There's just no way we're going to be able to keep up with, with our teammate at the moment even. Of course, I, can, I completely agree that my driving style is just not uh, at the best. But even if it would be the best, I don't think it would be enough. To, uh, to actually get close to our teammate as we see Grosjean on the inside and once again he just backs out of it as I said such a shame to actually see that just backing out of it the whole time before the corner that's what the AI likes to do don't really uh, put up a fight against you for sure skipping to the end of lap 10 so the uh, beginning of lap 11 as you can see the skies are really really bright now it uh, started to uh, all the rain started to ease off as you can see here it's not really raining that hard anymore there's still some raindrops on the screen though 6.6 seconds to get to our teammate, four, uh, four tenths to uh, Magnussen in this case, so Magnussen got by Grosjean again, doing 28.5, so it's not really that bad uh, when you compare it to our best lap so far, but certainly not great either when you compare it to the pace from the guys ahead of us. And yeah, you can see that I'm just struggling, I cannot get the right flow around this track so far, it has been the case for me throughout the whole weekend so far I just cannot get the flow going once again just struggling on the exit of the corner and look at Magnussen once again he might have a look on the inside no he does decide to back out of it but we now get a message from our engineer we should switch to intermediates and we'll have a look at the at the second times here rear tires are starting to uh, to wear and six tenths now so yeah the track conditions are starting or the, the, the tires are starting uh, to become, you know, obviously they, they wear a lot more, but at the same time they are not suiting the current track conditions, that's the word I was looking for. So, yeah, indeed visually uh, you can see it now, that racing line becoming more and more visible. So, we're gonna go into the pit here, diving into there, full throttle pit entry, and then we slow it all the way down. Selecting the intermediate tires, so here we go into the pit. Our teammate is into the pit as well. Basically, everyone is into the pit lane right now to go onto the intermediate tires. Here we go, coming into the pits right now, and oh, we get held up. Yep, we definitely get held up there as our teammate was still exiting the pit lane. Switching to the intermediate tires, where will we end up? We see a lot of cars there going by 6.1 seconds, dropping all the way down to 17th place, 16th now, and uh, we skip a little bit further down, uh, further. Because the recording actually got uh, messed up there, only for a couple of tenths though, it got a big, big, uh, big uh, lag, big fr uh, screen uh, or frame drop, that's why I had to skip ahead a little bit, sorry about that, but nonetheless, back to the race, P16, the weekend which was already very, very bad, has gone to absolutely, well, seriously bad for us right now, finding ourselves in P16, P14 is our target, so I guess it could be worse. But I lost out on three positions at least thanks to the pit stop. With uh, our, well, we find ourselves now about one second behind the Sauber ahead of us of Sutil. And now all you can do is just pushing. You know, you can push your your balls off now. You pretty much know it's going to get dry because when you look at the skies, they're pretty. Uh, they they are pretty bluish right now. You know that it will get dry. So I know that I'm better in the dry conditions compared to the wet and also compared to the AI. So. You, you just pray that the track will dry up, you know, a, as early as possible. And uh, in the meantime, you're gonna have to push at, at your hardest on this intermediate uh, tire. So we'll see what we can do. Objective uh, is our objective is P14. I guess we have to focus on that then, because points it would be a miracle, really. I don't see that happening. 
We got 126.079 at the moment. I also said a 123, I believe. So he is doing a pretty good, uh, pretty good lap time so far. Seven tenths to Chutil. He's not really pulling away from us at the moment. So that is uh, very good to see. Hopefully we can keep this pace up at the moment. But uh, yeah, it's going to be tricky, I guess. At least for now, you know. Once we get into the to the dry tires, the slick tires. My pace should improve quite a bit. And once again, just trying to find the traction out of that corner, but there's so much oversteer in these wet conditions and uh, on this set of tires as well. It's uh, pretty, uh, pretty insane. 22.8 now from uh, Sebastian Vettel. Uh, he might be still leading. I'm not sure. Look on the minimap. The gap to our teammate is very, very big at the moment. 1.2 seconds to Sutil, but as I said. This final sector here is our strongest point. Ricardo has just done a 122.1, so he's doing a really, really good lap time. He has done a really good lap time. And we'll see uh, whether we can keep up with Sutil. As I said, final sector is very, very strong. As Alonso tops that time with a 22.00, almost going into the into the 121s. Here we go through the chicane. Pretty sweet, hitting the curb there. Got some oversteer, but not too bad. We catch up to Sutil quite a bit in that chicane. 24.916 is our lap time. 7 tenths to Sutil, trying to put him under a little bit of pressure. And I, uh, I think I cut that second corner there. If I did, I would like to apologize. 7 tenths to Sutil, indeed. 3 seconds to the caterer behind of Kobayashi. But I don't see him as a threat in this race at the moment. Just gonna push at our hardest right now. Try to close the gap to Sutil, because Sutil is also losing a little bit of time to the car ahead of him. I don't know who it is. I think it will be Grosjean, actually. But he is obviously in P14, and that is our target. So we can uh, we can see our target, which is the only positive I can take out of this out of this race at the moment. Um, uh, well, skipping to lap 14, we can still see him a little bit later in lap 14, I should say. We're pretty close behind Sutil, and actually picking up the slipstream advantage right now. Going to mix free as well. We go even to eighth gear as we reach the final chicane here, turns 12 and 13, I believe. Going over that curb there, very, very close behind Suda. This indeed puts us in a really good chance to overtake Suda here defense. He is, I know he goes to the outside and we go squeeze ourselves through there. And we take him down the inside here for turn two. And we indeed take him. So first it looked like he was going to defend the inside, but then I saw him making a move to the outside exactly at the point where I wanted to go to the outside as well. So I decided to go to the inside and I think I went into the cross, well, a little bit, but not too much. We could squeeze ourselves through there, barely. If you get a chance in this race, you're gonna have to grab it with both hands, otherwise, well, otherwise you might not take the position. So uh, I took it with both hands there, we're up to P15 right now, but uh, yeah, still being pretty embarrassed because this is not what I expected from this weekend, definitely not. But as I said, I just struggled so much this weekend. Couldn't get the right flow. Anyway, skipping to lap 18. Five seconds is the gap to Grosjean. And it looks like we have to give up on, the, on that 14th place at the moment though. Because it is still pretty wet. But it's starting to get drier and drier at this point. We are also starting to create a gap to Sutil, which is good. But at the same time, Grosjean is pulling away from us. But as you can see, visually, it's starting to dry up quite a bit. And hopefully in two laps time, it will be dry enough to go onto the slick tire and then we need to push our balls off in order to catch Grosjean and overtake him. Give it a two more laps or something like that and it should be ready I think. As you can see off the racing line there are quite a few uh, puddles of water, standing water. But uh, the racing line itself looks pretty okay-ish. Uh, although there are still raindrops on the screen so it's definitely not ready for slicks right now at least. Let's have a look at the lap times. 22, 123, 23.614, not too bad at all, 4.9 seconds to Grosjean, so we gained a little bit of time back in that final sector, now we skip to the end of lap 20, starting uh, lap 21, as you can see the raindrops on screen, they disappeared, indicating that it's uh, definitely starting to dry up right now, 4.7 seconds to Grosjean, so I have been faster than him of the last, uh, I think two laps, so that was definitely a, a motivation for me to keep on pushing. It is still not over. We can still get that 14th place. And even though it has been a very, very negative weekend for us at the moment, it still would be some kind of positive, you know. Uh, at least finishing uh, 
uh, at our objective is so, it's, it's something you know it's better than just leaving when in p15 and not reaching your objective because that would be dramatic and uh, I would feel very very bad then about this weekend even worse than I feel already about it because let's be honest it hasn't been the greatest weekend so far and I know that everyone in the comments will now say you should have gone with another team and stuff like that but at the same time look what I did in Monaco you know that's also possible with this car and uh, I'm sure I will be strong I'm sure I will be strong in Austria and Silverstone as well you can mark my words that I'm gonna perform that really really well it's just this this, this race where we need to go through and after this I do expect a lot of great moments and a lot of good results but that has to be remain uh, remain to be seen a little bit later we are now still focusing on this race and actually we go into the pit lane right now in lap 21 we uh, we decide it's enough we select the prime tire and yeah I still seems to be staying out so was this the right choice we will see we will see there's still a little bit of spray coming from the tire so I'm a little bit worried that it's too early I select the prime tire and uh, this uh, while well, deciding to go to the end of the race so 14 laps on the prime tire and that should be enough to uh, make no uh, no further pit stops we rejoin the track behind a sauber in front of a sauber in front of a sauber behind the lotus that is passed from Maldonado remember this is all for position and we will see whether it was the right choice to go into the slick tire let's have a look at the driving oh oh no grip no grip at all touching the barrier what well, it looks like the wrong choice at the moment if it is the wrong choice it would make our weekend gone from bad to worse but actually uh, look at look at this look at this the tires are starting to get more grippy right now you can see there visually that I was able to put the power down pretty well with the AI struggling a little bit and yeah indeed the AI is starting to struggle and our tires are starting to pick up the grip so was it the right choice then after all and only in the first sector where it was pretty wet so it looked like it was the wrong choice it does seem to be the case because well we overtook just two cars on the braking zone of the hairpin turn 10 and so we are up to p16 and uh, the slick tires are starting to grip right now our only reference right now to see whether it was really the right choice was to compare the gap or is to compare the gap to Grosjean who is going to pit in this lap I presume because we can see the AI pitting on the main map plenty of grip there in that final uh, sheet gain so it's looking really really good but where is Grosjean where is Grosjean you can see him there I think Grosjean is on the left hand side it was indeed Grosjean on the left hand side let's have a look there he is visually the gap is closer so it was the right choice I think after all he will pull away a gap uh, pull away a little bit though and I think that's about four seconds we will have a look at the end of the at the end of the sector here and now it's just pushing it is pushing to until uh, the end of the race 2.6 seconds it is 2.6 seconds where it was about five seconds before so I did gain quite a bit of time indeed on Grosjean so in the end I still think it was the right choice and now the track is only going to get drier and drier and it should play in our hands more and more we see Chilton there going off the track that is pretty remarkable Chilton having not a great weekend at all he uh, just got led by us but uh, Grosjean suddenly having a great pace and the gap 3.4 uh, seconds where it was 2.6 before Grosjean had an amazing middle sector and then you know as a driver you start to wonder is that 14th place still possible you know I mean he pulled away 8 tenths in that middle sector and he uh, I remember the gap when he exited the pits it visually is so much bigger than it was when uh, well when we started the lap here anyway let's have a look what we can do in terms of lap time 21 120 1.8 2.9 seconds to uh, Grosjean so gained a bit of time back luckily in that third sector and now the hunt is on really 11 laps to go three seconds can we close that gap down uh, get p14 that is uh, well the, the the question mark right now it all remains to be seen and uh, well let's see whether Grosjean can have another amazing middle sector here if he does it's pretty much game over for us three seconds there and even purple in his first sector uh, but obviously I think a lot of uh, AI drivers will improve the fastest lap time right now anyway so that doesn't matter was the 10th in that first sector to, to Grosjean let's keep an eye out on that Oh yeah, definitely hitting that curb now much better. Look at that, that was very good. Actually putting the power down as well. A little bit of a uh, wheel spin, but it could have been worse. Three seconds before, it is now 3.4 seconds again. It gone up, it has gone up by another four tenths. So, Grosjean seems to be very, very strong in that middle sector. But I have the upper hand in this final sector. 
But the question is whether I can make up the time which I've lost in the middle sector in this final sector. 3.4 seconds, keep an eye out on that. We'll have a look. Hoping we're going to fast lap of the race, 118.3. Jumping over these curves here, bit of oversteer coming pretty close there to the wall of champions. Uh, wall of champions, 119.8 is our lap, 2.8 seconds. Kinked back six tenths in that final sector. I would say that the hunt is on. You know, I have got to push at my maximum right now. And actually, I did so. And at the end of lap 27, we set a 118.5. Track condition starting to improve more and more. 2.6 seconds to Grosjean. We are, well, we have started the hunt right now, really. And uh, I can uh, confirm that finally, I started to feel comfortable at this track. I had nailed my racing lines a little bit better. Got better and closer to the apexes. Got better on the on the throttle. Uh, had a better exit every single time. 2.5 again to Grosjean. And finally, for the first time this weekend, it felt like I was starting to pick up the flow, which which was missing all weekend long, really. So that's obviously good for us, as we still are looking to finish in that 14th spot. And that is really important for us at the moment, as it is our as it is, as it is our objective. 2.9 to Grosjean, so once again Grosjean had an amazing middle sector, put away 4 tens, I think. And in the mirror you can see a red bull there, so that has to be Vettel, I think, who is still leading this race. So we should receive a blue flag next lap. Still 8 laps to go, and uh, still pushing very, very hard of course. I want to catch Grosjean, I want to get that 14th place. I was so, so motivated to get that 14th place now. Once again, coming pretty close to the wall of champions, pretty good exit I would say. 2.9 before, 2.4 now, okay, very, very good, 118.3, personal uh, best lap for us this race, came back half a second on Grosjean in that final sector, we are doing very, very good now, we need to keep this up, there we go, we're getting blue flags right now for Vettel behind, so we will let him through soon, not now though, because he seems to be uh, pretty far back at the moment, 2.3 seconds, get another 10 for Grosjean, this is good, we are eating away, that gap, although now we get the blue flags obviously, so we are gonna have to go and uh, let Vettel through, we let him through down the inside here, there goes Vettel, and what's he doing, what, Vettel backs out of it, and what am I doing as well, wow, a big, big miscommunication there between me and Vettel, I, I, I left the door wide open for Vettel to go down the inside, he even was down the inside, as that has lost me, 1.4 seconds, and that is not what we need, I thought Vettel would go on the inside and I would get the DRS again. When I saw he didn't go down the inside, I slowed down in order to get DRS and let him through then. But he, he fell back so far and I have no idea why he did that. Again, here we go. Going to let Vettel by, trying to sneak DRS off him, but that didn't work. Anyway, Vettel is through right now. The gap to Grosjean is 3.6 seconds and basically you need to start all over again now. And that is a major disappointment. You know, it was from, from one point of view I think it was stupid from my side but uh, also from the AI side I shouldn't have slowed down after that corner but I didn't really realize that Vettel backed out of it that much so we're starting to pick up a little bit of slipstream from Vettel so still getting a little bit of an advantage here and uh, that is Grosjean that is Grosjean Grosjean blew up Grosjean has blown up his engine has blown up his engine and so that moves us up in P14 the place we have looking at all race long Wow, uh, suddenly it, it all kicked off here and with five laps to go and uh, Grosjean having a retirement behind his name We are up into P14 as there's a Mercedes behind us. We're gonna let him through right here And that is Rosberg. Yeah, it is, it is indeed Rosberg and uh, well, we see now how slow we really were this race I mean 16.2 seconds to Jean Aragorn our teammate. That is an insane gap really and at the end of lap 34, it even is 19 seconds. So this will be the final lap of the race since we got lapped. Sutu is still behind us. And uh, he's actually quite a long way behind us. But, well, I think I got pretty lucky there with Grosjean. Having to uh, retire with a blown up engine. Um, if he did not retire, I think it would have been close uh, for me to overtake him. I do think I had the pace on him. But obviously I had to start all over again with that gap going up to uh, about 3.64 seconds again. So uh, I got pretty lucky there. And I was pretty happy to see that he uh, blew up. Oh, but on the other hand, I would have liked to, uh, to have a little bit of a battle with him. 
because uh, I, I felt really motivated again to, to get in 14th spot. I know it's not a lot. I mean, we are four places down on uh, getting at least one point, but still, I feel like this is the maximum I could have done, really. I couldn't have done any better this race, I believe. So, at the end of that, and at the end of the day, I'm still happy with that as Nico Rosberg has taken the victory. So, he actually overtook Vettel in the closing stages of the race. We are coming here through the final corner, going a bit dead, uh, hot in there. Oh, <laughs> very hot in there indeed. Bit of oversteer, but anyway, we're gonna, gonna go through the start finish line right now and we take home a 14th place. Being outraced by our teammate there, who was in 13th, not gonna lie, he was just better, so he does deserve it. Yeah, and in the end of the day, it's even a question whether we deserve that 14th uh, place. So uh, we were the last car on the grid to get lapped. As we said, Rosberg taking the victory there with Vettel in the second. This was a race to forget for us, not a great race at all. Uh, we are still in 12th place for the uh, Drivers' Championship and actually Williams is really really bad in my career mode for some reason. Um, it's only in 8th uh, and 11th place and it definitely should be higher up there. But anyway, I'm not going to complain. Uh, somehow, my driver was happy, I think. Or uh, was this taken for... No, of course my qualifying uh, or my uh, driver is happy. Apologies, uh, of course we finished in our objective and we achieved that so that's why he's happy. But I was uh, definitely not happy. I mean, it uh, wasn't a great weekend but you can talk a lot about it. There's nothing you can do. But as I said, I'm sure that I'm going to improve for Austria which will be next race. Hope to see you guys then. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, I would appreciate a like. And I really trust that it will be all better next race. See you next time. Goodbye.